Hello and welcome, I'm Phil Horn, top chef at High Fresh, and today I'm gonna to show you how to cook beautiful garlic prawns. Real simple, real straightforward. Got beautiful Australian prawns, tiger prawns here, and I'm gonna do a beautiful garlic butter with, it, with simple ingredients of rosemary, garlic, parsley, and butter. Now to serve, I'm just gonna serve it with some lemon wedges, and as always, when I do a nice butter sauce, some nice crusty bread. So let's get started. Okay, so we have our 85 grams of unsalted butter, soft butter that is, okay. I'm just gonna give that a little mix around, nice and soft. We have our 10 grams of parsley straight in. Okay, so garlic in. Then with our rosemary, we just want the stalk. Just hold it from the top there, just pull it right down. Very finely, chop it all up, nice and fine, straight in. Okay, so we just want to mix together with a spatula, just get it nice and even. Now you can always make this well in advance if you really want to. It can sit in the fridge for a good week. So we can see now, very nicely mixed in, all looking pretty even. That can go in the fridge for 10 or 15 minutes. Then we'll come back and we'll cook up our prawns. We're on a high heat, a little bit of oil in the pan. Now for these prawns, I haven't done anything to them, okay? I haven't taken the shell off. We're gonna cook them all in the shell. It's gonna take roughly about four to five minutes. We're gonna put them in the pan, 45 seconds. Then we're gonna turn them over, put our garlic butter in. Once our butter is in, give it another two or three minutes and then they'll be off, okay? The reason that I'm cooking them in the shell is because it kind of steams it as well as pan fries it, plus it protects the meat. A nice hot pan. While our prawns are cooking, I've just got a nice bread roll here. We're just gonna put that in the oven, 230 degrees, just to bake that through so it's nice and crispy, so we can mop up our butter. Okay, so it's been about four to five seconds. We're gonna turn it over and we're gonna drop our pan down to a medium heat for a further two or three minutes. Okay, so our butter's gonna go in the pan now and we're just gonna let that melt right through. So you'll probably find that you'll have to do your cooking of the prawns in stages as the pan probably won't be big enough. So just make sure that you leave enough butter to get all the way through the amount of prawns that you need to cook. So our butter's melted now. That's probably been about five minutes in total. So we're gonna get that off and we're gonna repeat the whole process until all our prawns are cooked. Now I'm cooking for about five or six people here. I've got a total of about 25 prawns. Should evenly feed maybe about five or six people. So I'm gonna repeat that process now until all my prawns are cooked, all my butter's gone. Then my bread will be ready to go and we can eat. We get all that remaining sauce all over. some bread and there you have it one happy family sitting down with some beautiful Australian tiger prawns see you next time